Saturday Night Football, the Detroit Lions are on the road taking on the Dallas Cowboys. My three best bets are on the way. This is our only Saturday game, but let's dive into our favorite picks. First, we've got to recap how we did on Thursday Night Football. A winning night, but man, I am so frustrated. I'm sure a lot of you guys are out there. Let's talk with Jason Brownlee, the chef's kiss that was his over in receiving yards. I didn't really see anyone else on Jason Brownlee, and he delivered for us. He had two receptions for, I believe, 28 yards. Cash in his regular over at 12 and a half. Cash in his 25 plus, which was plus 240, and he did not get the, the 50 plus although if trevor simeon knew how to throw it throw it more than three yards down the field he probably would have had like 100 yards but man trevor simeon frustrating but not as frustrating as jerome ford over 12 and a half rushing attempts now jerome as you probably know he had 12 rushing attempts and his 13th one was this one and i'll put it up on the screen in a little clip yeah, they overruled that, returned that a fumble to Joe Flacco, did not give that attempt to Jerome Ford. He had 12 going into the fourth, and he did not see another single rush attempt. One of the most frustrating beats we will have this season. Guys, it does not get worse than that. I just don't know how it does. And, you know, normally I would complain even more, but we're going to have some bad luck. We're going to have some good luck. Let's move on. You know, we're not going to complain when we have great luck, so we're not going to complain a ton when we have some bad luck. But, man, that was as bad as it gets. But let's dive into our picks, though, today. There is another free square only for new users on Sleeper for our man Dak Prescott to get you one yard on Saturday he certainly can get that done so if you are new to sleeper make sure you sign up using our code COS so you get that free square and they will also match your first deposit up to 100 bucks pretty cool offer take advantage of it we love sleeper and before we dive into it we also have another college football picks video live for Saturday a couple college football games we already want to know we had Notre Dame on the spread they easily covered that we got two more picks on Saturday go check out that video I'll link it at the top of the description but you guys came here for picks dive into the first one the guy that's probably on the thumbnail I'm not sure who I'm putting on it just yet CD Lamb over 95 and a half receiving yards minus 120 on points bet now I'd play this line up to 101 and a half for CD and honestly you will rarely see me take a super high points line. Uh, I say points line because we're on points bet. You don't see me see take a really high line like this for yards. But I've only done it once this season. It was Tyree Kill and the man at 157 yards. Let's hope CD Lamb continues that trend. Now, obviously, this is a high line. There's a lot of things that could go wrong for CD, but I think this matchup is too good for us to avoid him. Let's talk about Lamb, who Lamb, who does have 115 receiving yards, so easily clearing the line in seven of 15 games this season. So a little bit below 50%. However, it does have 10 plus targets in four straight weeks, and he's actually 180 yards, up, technically 179 from tying, but 180 from passing. Michael Irvin for the most receiving yards ever in a Cowboys franchise history single season. Nuts. Now, obviously, CD Lamb does have an extra game on the season to get it done, but maybe he wants to come out here and do it in, you know, the whatever, 16 games and be like, I didn't need that extra game to pass to Michael Irvin. 180 yards, obviously a high stretch. Michael Irvin, one of the best receivers of all time, especially in Cowboys history. But I look at this Lions defense, they don't have a quarterback to match up with him. And honestly, I just think this is a mismatch. Now, you look at Cowboys, they already don't like running the ball. Tony Pollard just kind of stunk the past like 10 weeks. And Rico Dowdo, who actually had some success on the ground, is out. So you're going to be really looking at Tony Pollard or Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, I doubt they're going to want to run it, especially against the Lions, who have allowed the fewest rushing yards in the NFL to running backs this season. In turn, they've allowed the ninth most, ninth most receiving yards to wide receivers, 10th most passing yards in general. I think you can pass on them. We saw last week, Lions, 411 passing yards allowed to Nick Mullins. 140, one of those went to Justin Jefferson. 95 of them went to KJ Osborne. So I just don't think they have a chance to match up against CD Lamb. They got to triple team him, and still I don't think they can stop him. We've seen CD. He just had 118 yards against the Dolphins. One of the toughest matchups for wide receivers over the last like 10 weeks was the Dolphins. He made quick work of them. I think this is a game where the Cowboys get back on track. They've been really good at home, undefeated. They're going to have to use CD Lamb through the air. I think he has a massive day. The line is seven and a half receptions. The line that he's under in like three or four straight wouldn't be surprised is like a 10 reception type game. I just don't think the Lions can guard him. So go make some Cowboys history. 180 yards. I don't necessarily know if you can get that. But CD Lamb, we like him for over 95 and a half receiving yards. My first play of the day. Now, my second play is going to be more of a deep diver. If you might not have ever heard of this guy, just like Jason Brownlee, but this guy is really good. And I think he's going to get some opportunities tonight. Let's talk about Josh Reynolds of the Detroit Lions. Over 12 and a half yards for his longest reception. Minus 120 on DraftKings. Now, Honestly, Josh Reynolds, we don't need much from him tonight. We need a 13-yard reception, and he could peace out like he's only catch of the game. Now, obviously, if you were to, and before I even get, dive into why I like Josh Reynolds, if you're on FanDuel, yeah, you're right. They don't have a line. They don't have a line for longest reception for Josh Reynolds. They just posted his regular receiving yards line at like 16 and a half or 17 and a half, which I don't mind. However, Reynolds sometimes is just a one-catch 15-yard guy, and then he's out of here. 
So I really like the longest reception more than his regular receiving yards line, but FanDuel doesn't want to overexpose themselves on guys with low lines like they didn't want to do with Jason Brownlee. You saw that worked out, but I really like Reynolds in this matchup this and this game and this season. And Reynolds, so far this season, 13 yard reception or longer in 10 of 15 games this year. Pretty good hit rate. Now is that is it has included three straight games with a 27, 21, and a 16 yarder. Three of his unders, three of his five unders this season involved him having a 12, 12, and 11 yard reception. So just stretch out the ball maybe for a first down or maybe a couple extra yards, Josh, and you would have cashed for us. But I just think this is a great matchup for him. And Reynolds is not the high volume guy. Amonra St. Brown will obviously lead this team in targets. But Jared Goff and him have a very good chemistry. This is a guy that they played with each other in LA and he's come over to Detroit and they've been pretty good. And he's kind of one of those guys that Jared Goff trusts, especially against man coverage, which is exactly what the Cowboys like to run a lot of. And despite the emergence of Jamison Williams, who a lot of people will be on on Saturday night, I don't blame him. Jamison, really good, but really fun talent to watch, really coming onto the scene. But even despite Jamison Williams playing a lot more these past couple of weeks, Josh Reynolds still running 19 plus routes in every single game this season, closer to 22 to 23 every game. And we've seen him have three plus targets in five straight games. So he's getting the looks from Jared Goff. All we need is one of them to go for 13 yards. And I just don't see the, the Lions having a ton of success running against the Cowboys. And heck, even throwing against their top two cornerbacks. Who have normally, they've kind of, the top two cornerbacks have kind of taken a downturn these last few weeks. So I think Monroe could do his thing. But I still do think the Cowboys are going to maybe get up in this game. We're going to see the Lions have to throw. And the Cowboys are a team that runs the fourth most man coverage in the NFL. Reynolds, higher yards per route run than Amon Ross St. Brown against man coverage. So, Look, when they're running man, normally Josh Reynolds is that guy that that you're seeing Jared Goff look for. Obviously, Amon Ra leads his team in receptions against man because he leads the team in receptions by a long shot. But this is a guy that has played well against man coverage, and that's what Josh Reynolds would likely see a lot of. And we've seen last week, five Dolphins hit this over. Weeks prior, two Bills when they only threw for like 90 yards. Four Eagles the week before, five Seahawks, seven Commanders. All these guys have had a 13-yard or longer reception, whether they're a wide receiver, tight end, running back, doesn't matter. They've been able to get it done, and this is a guy in Josh Reynolds averaged up the target 11.4 yards so he's not catching two yarders and we're asking him to break some tackles no he's going down the field and all he needs is one reception i certainly think he can get that done i think this is a sneaky play and i think he has the bet one of the better matchups for the lions pass catchers you think about guys on the outside they're going to have some, their tough task against those Cowboys secondary, which hasn't played as well, but really against the slot is where Josh Reynolds does a lot of his damage, and that is exactly where I think the Cowboys' biggest weakness is defensively. I like Josh Reynolds here. I like him a lot. Give me his over 12 and a half yards for his longest reception. Only takes one. Cook him in the first drive, and that could be all it done. He's still been playing like 58 60% of the snaps, played more snaps than Jamison Williams by one last week. So Josh Reynolds, we love you. But finally, my third pick of the video, it would not be a Lions game if we did not have a same game parlay. Now, if you're like Austin, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you've been keeping track of the last few Lions games, you would know we are 5-0 on Lions same game parlays this season. We've been cashing with the Gibbs and Montgomery train. Last week, we did some Gibbs and we, Montgomery. Plus, we had some Vikings in there this week. Interesting one, four legs. Let's dive into it. These are the four legs I love, and we're going to ride the same game parlay for one unit. Now, let's talk with these four fellas. Amonra St. Brown, 50-plus receiving yards. Jameer Gibbs, 25-plus rushing yards. C.D. Lamb, 50-plus receiving yards. And Jake Ferguson, 25-plus receiving yards. This is plus 102 on FanDuel. Four legs, same game parlay. Let's move to 6-0 and for Lions games. Now, I know there are going to be some people on other books that might not have great value. I do like David Montgomery again for 25 rushing yards. I don't like his 50-plus, but he should easily get you 25. And I also like Sam Laporta for 25 plus receiving yards. Normally pretty consistent. Didn't have a great week last week, but Lions are probably going to have to throw. Now, let's talk about why I like this one. And I'm not even going to really, I'll touch on the Cowboys first, but I'm not really going to touch on CD. You already heard me take his over 95 and a half. I'm willing to put another unit involving CD Lamb. I mean, if he gets injured, whatever, I'll take two units on the chin. But I just think this is too good of a matchup for CD to not get 50 yards, let alone 100. But let's talk about Jake Ferguson, who does have 25 receiving yards in nine straight games. And like I said, the Lions really good against the run, struggling against the pass, have struggled against tight ends recently too, allowing the most receiving yards to that position over the the last four weeks. So Jake Ferguson, always a good safety valve for Dak Prescott, and he's just a great target. I consider his regular over in yards, which is like about 48, 49 and a half. He cashed for us last week. I think Jake Ferguson in for another great matchup, another great week. Jake Ferguson should get us 25 pretty easily. Now let's talk about the Lions side of the equation. We need Amonra and Jameer Gibbs to do their job. Amonra St. Brown, 50 yards in 12 of 14. Came off two down weeks with 49 and 21 yards. Back-to-back -back games, though, with 100 plus. I just think this is too good of a matchup. We've seen opposing wide receiver runs really 
really have a great track record against the Cowboys secondary these last few weeks. Amonra, they find ways to get him open, whether it's in zone coverage, man coverage, quick screen plays. They get the ball in his hands, and he's their number one guy. Amonra's usually pretty good for 50-plus receiving yard tech, even more than that. And then finally, wrap it up, Jameer Gibbs, 25 rushing yards, something he's done in 11 straight games. Jameer, super fun to watch, 5.7 yards per carry, which is number one in the NFL, minimum 100 rushing attempts. So this guy's been so good. I just love the same game parlay. I think it's a really good option. I would put more than one unit on it because we've been so good on Lions, same game parlays. But I don't want to overexpose us on, on CD Lamb. So I'll just stick with the one unit. Hopefully we can go 3-0. and We can cash this same game parlay. Cash our regular CD Lamb over 95.5 receiving yards. And also cash that Josh Reynolds over 12.5 yards for his longest reception. All it takes is one. I don't mind his regular receiving yards line, but rather the longest reception line a little bit more. But those are my three favorite picks of the day. We will have some videos for Sunday, probably posted before this game even starts. So stay tuned for that. Let's have a wonderful day. It's Austin. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys back again with the other picks for Sunday. And when those are live, I will link them on the screen. But right now, just linked is our college football video. We're already 1-0 there. Try to go to 3-0 on Saturday. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.